Thank you for downloading yet another Osprey Network's prank call from the Pointless Audio Radio Show on http colon slash slash www.ospreynet.info. Unlike certain other recording associations that enjoy suing little 12-year-old girls, we give you full permission to download, upload, distribute, burn, copy, leave us a message on your ex-girlfriend's voicemail to tell her what a cunt she is, Use it as a way to tell your asshole boss that you quit his crappy slave wage job and otherwise distribute our content in any way you see fit. You may censor any profanity if our content is to be syndicated on any FCC regulated medium, but otherwise you cannot alter this file in any way, shape, or form, and this extremely long, annoying, tedious, and inconvenient disclaimer must remain on the file. If you would prefer the non-annoying version for syndication, please download our shows in their entirety at http colon slash slash www.ospreynet.info. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoy our content. You know, I, I think we should make that a, a topic on the round table. Well, Just so on what she said... And you can install Windows 95 on a Commodore 64. Let's make it a topic on your show, man. You don't want to show? Oh, yeah, that's true. I think we discussed that then right now. Before we make any more phone calls, then I said we call the AOL guy back and say that your Commodore 64 won't install AOL 95. <laughs> uh, AOL 9.0. Well, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Nature's calling me and won't go to voicemail, so I'll be right back. That's no fun. Shit, I can do that while on the phone. While I'm talking to you guys. That's TMI, T-Man. What's your local newspaper, man? Uh, but yeah, I, I, I say we officially call him up and tell them that um, uh, their computers are all, um, that we can we installed uh, Windows 95 on it, uh, Commodore. <laughs> Although it can't be a Commodore 64. How about a Commodore, uh, how about an Amiga? How about an, a Commodore Amiga? Nah. You guys heard of those? Uh. Yeah, I know what it is. How about, how about... What's your local newspaper? How about we call Computer House Emergency Tech Support Computer House Technology Center. It's a 1-800 number in Galloway, New Jersey. All right. Can I do it on the phone? Uh, let me try here. Yeah? You going to do it, Slasher? No, you are. No, I am. I am. What are we installing this time? If I can. Okay, give me the number. I can call right from my cell phone. Okay, 1-800-372... Uh, one second, let me run over to my dad's van and write it on the window. Alright, 1800. 372. Yep. 6834. Are they 24? Yeah, yeah, 24. Are they 24 hours? Yes, yes. Alright, who's taking it? Eli, and he's got Windows 95. Alright, Eli, this is all you. Why not me? Because uh, I can't keep a straight face. I'll start laughing. All right. What am I installing? You've installed Windows 95 onto your Commodore 64, and now it's giving you uh, an error when you try to uh, install uh, Win uh, AOL. <laughs> All right. Guys? Yes. Yeah, we're still here. And uh, can order products 24 hours a day. You can also reach us via email at support at computerhouse.com. If you'd like to leave a message, please press 9. After recording, you can hang up. The call is being transferred to the receptionist. You want me to do this? I I can do this. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, okay. Hi, this is Strange Calling. Please leave your message at the tone. Hello, um, I bought a com <laughs> computer from you. My name is John, and the reason I'm calling is someone at Duke Geek or something like that told me that I could install um, Windows 95 on a Commodore 64, and I'm hoping you guys can give me the support to do this. Um, can you give me a phone call at 1607 422 9732? Like I said, my name is John. John, and I'm trying to install Windows 95 on a Commodore 64, so can you please help me as soon as possible? I need to get online. One of my girlfriends won't talk to me, and that's the only way I can talk to her, and that's the only computer I have, so please give me a call quick. Call <laughs> huh? We would like to thank all of our victims for being participants on Pointless Audio here on Osprey Networks. Your pure and unsolicited stupidity has brought joy to the hearts of all. Prank calls are not against the law, so please don't bother calling your lawyer. 
We will never call an individual just stupid fucked up corporations and businesses. No one's personal information will ever be made public. We will never harass or threaten anyone or otherwise do anything illegal. Everything on this show and on our site is our opinion and is no way meant as slander. Free speech gives us the right to that opinion. So if you're offended, we plead the first. Fuck you. Thanks again for listening, and we hope you have a great day.